All right, guys, so this is the last of this stupid evil bill that I said I wasn't going to throw any money on anymore. But here I am. So I believe I have all the last pieces I need to do my Evo 9 Turbo Swap. Excuse me for my voice, but I am sick. But in sickness or in health, when car parts come in, you got to do what you got to do, right? So... In this first package, we have, I don't know what we have. Oh, yes, I do. Nice. We have our Megan Racing O2 housing that has been coated with something that I'm not sure of. <clears throat> yeah, the guy said he had it ported which looks pretty nice. I can tell already that these let's see, runners are a lot bigger than stock ones. I'm probably gonna uh, coat this with like some high temp paint as well because I don't like this color and I like stealth. But yeah, that's that. With this and the FP manifold and the Evo 9 Turbo, I should be in the 400s. If not, all hell's gonna break loose. But yeah, nice finish all around. Smooth surfaces. I should be making some decent flow. Next, we have a package from STM. I love these guys. Even though they're in New York, I still support them. Because our website is honestly one of the easiest websites to navigate around. <coughs> oh, yeah, and this is all the hardware that I bought. Let's see. Cool. So, since we have the FP manifold, you actually need um, different studs to mount it and that's what these are for these are actually the DSM um, turbo to manifold bolts the longer versions and we also have our oil return and yeah oil return gaskets for both sides I figured it'd be a good time to do that over there and I also bought the two this is pretty cool. These are the two oil bolts, like gaskets for these holes right here. You actually have gaskets that you can put the bolts through, just like that. I wish they would have done that for DSMs. I might, I want to see if that would work for my DSM, because we, the DSMs always have a problem with these leaking, even with a brand new gasket, so. But I just went ahead, since I was there, I bought new hardware for that. And, yeah, so that's that. That's the hardware that I needed. The other two bolts I have. <clears throat> and lastly, but not as least, this is pretty cool. I really wanted to show you guys this. And I would highly recommend it. Um, this is something I saw in a group buy that I missed out on. But I finally found the seller online. And I bought one for myself. This is hopefully gonna make my life a whole lot easier because, so you can guys guess that, that's the part supplier I got it from. But this is called an easy drain oil valve. So <clears throat> what it is, is exactly what it says it is. It's a valve. So where your oil drain plug is actually, you just thread this in there and you go ahead as you can see when you want to drain your oil you just move this so that's closed and then whenever you want to drain your oil you lift this up and then you pull to the side and that opens up and all the oil comes out and they actually do sell different fittings for this so you can have like an extension hose and whatnot or like a 90 degree but 
I think I'm going to try this out first, just the way it is, and see how it goes. I'm really excited about this, which was only $25. You just got to make sure you get the right thread pitch, and it comes with a gasket as well. Uh, one thing that did come to my attention is that, like, for those extreme drivers who, like, like to go off-roading and whatnot, rallying, there is a chance of, you know, like, debris hitting this and somehow turning it. And so you got pretty much oil spilling everywhere. But <clears throat> there is a solution, and you can get it at any at your regular local hardware store. You just pretty much get a hose clamp, and you get it to this fitting. So the hose clamp will actually, like, lodge itself right here. So this won't be able to come up or turn. And I have that in my drawer, but that's what I'm going to be doing just for peace of mind. But other than that, that's all we got for today. I think... We are ready to install this turbo and make some bad numbers. All right, have a good one.